Hey everybody, call me Felix, and today we're reviewing the KFC Double down here in the Philippines. It is return. Now, back in the States, back home, um, I've never eaten a KFC Double down in my life. And that the reason why is because we tend to think KFC is really disgusting back home. But, you know, we had nothing better to do. So, this is the KFC Double down. This is the original recipe, and then they have here locally here in the Philippines is the Zinger Double down looks quite good uh, so I'm just going to have the original recipe first because this is the one so this is a first for me and a first for these boys as well to try their own keto KFC double down I think they call it all right here we go hmm. now I've had KFC here in the Philippines before or at least our Robinson's Ilocos Norte branch their original recipe, chicken is not that good. Not as good as what you get back home. But this, I think, kind of lives up to it as far as the breading goes. I don't really get those 11 herbs and spices, though. That cheese, as you can see, it's not like packed to the gills with it. They do have bacon in here. Now, I'm curious to see if the bacon is just like American bacon. As in, real American bacon. Um... But I do know that in Visayas and Mindanao, they have um, ham instead of bacon. Poor guys. Okay. The problem here, I think they use thigh meat instead of breast meat. And so it kind of feels a little more... Mm, feels like more rubbery thigh meat. So it, 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 it takes some chew to kind of like bite off a piece. Have you ever had a KFC Double Down? I've never had one. Mm. This is my, I'm a KFC Double Down virgin. Yeah, you too. <laughs> I think we all are until, <laughs> of course, I got them. That's your zinger. You oh, can try okay. the zinger first if you like. Go ahead. Feel free. Hmm. Ooh, la, la. You look very satisfied. That's the original or the zinger? Zinger. It's really spicy? Yeah, I just don't need that. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How do you feel about the texture of that chicken, though? It's more like thigh meat instead of breast meat. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. But it makes it more juicier. Yeah, so. that does. And there's this nice outer crust, too. One thing, when I got original recipe here, I was dreading was that um, it would look just so blandly colored and not unattractive to eat. But this has a nice crisp edge. It doesn't really taste. It tastes like a watered down sort of 11 herbs and spices from Colonel Sanders. You think it's salty? A little bit salty? Uh, mm, huh? Not really getting salty. In fact, it could use a teensy bit more. That bacon doesn't really... It only adds a teensy bit of salt. And then that cheese is just like a little subtle for me. It's really all about the chicken. I don't really think, I think the only special sauce they put in this is mayo. It's really good with ketchup. It's really good with ketchup? Oh, okay. You want some? Yeah. Because I do think it's a little, it needs something. Because the cheese doesn't stand out. It just kind of mellows. And then that bacon, not really brown, not really salty. Not crispy either. So it could use a little something, yeah. Put on some ketchup. More? I think that's fine for now. Yeah. Right? Come to think of it now, having this, could use some Tabasco. Yes. <laughs> Tabasco. <laughs> Tabasco. So I think if I were to modify this, I would definitely want some Tabasco. I think more... More cheese and more bacon for me. But kudos to them for putting thigh meat instead of breast meat. I'm almost done with this and you can go to my zinger, which I've not had a zinger here yet. What they tell me this is a spicy sort of thing. We called this back home extra tasty crispy, but it isn't really extra crispy. And it's kind of, eh. It doesn't really, it has the 11 herbs and spices of Colonel Sanders, but then it's extra battered. That's how I'm used to it. What sauce is this one? <laughs> Wow. Oh, what's that, honey? Sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. Sugar syrup. Oh, they can't call it honey. 
that they call it sugar syrup. Maybe because it isn't honey. Yeah. So you think that's what we should do? Put some honey on our zinger? Because for me, I feel like it's missing something. Let's try it. Okay. Rice. <laughs> Rice? <laughs> well, the point is, well, coming from you and the Kato diet, I don't know. Okay. Oliver? Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. One sticky treat, everybody. Sugar syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh la la. Okay. Let's see if it adds a little something. Let's go. Mm. I think Zinger wins hands down on one bite because that honey sweetness really complements well with that little spice that kind of comes on nicely that kind of it also offsets the, the saltiness but mm. I prefer yeah it does I prefer like ranch dressing maybe oh my gosh ranch dressing okay so I think what we should do is kind of order this again and modify it the way we want it at home. But I like the crispy crust here. And then I also, it's really good. The honey sweetness is really making it with that spice. Again, I feel like the cheese and the bacon really take a back seat in this. Mm. What do you think, Warren? Yeah, just, there's a little um, saltiness. Yeah. But not a whole salty. lot. I mean, mine is salty too. Maybe his is different. Yeah. And then it's like that pepper is kind of tasting like a little bit of cayenne. Just a teensy bit. Have you been stealing on Popeye's intellectual property, Philippines? <laughs> I guess. It doesn't taste like Popeye's? Well, no, I'm just remarking that it has like a cayenne pepper sort of heat. This meat also, I feel, is firmer than the um, original recipe. So I think the texture is better from the original too. Yeah, this zinger is good. It's good. Um, let me take it out of its wrapping then. You can see that end. I want the end with the bacon. I'm really digging the honey and the spice. The bacon, again, too it's too bland for my liking. But it is a nicely cooked, nicely, very nicely cooked chicken. This is above average for KFC cooking when it comes to chicken, by the way. Let's double down. I just don't think the other elements really make it noteworthy other than putting honey and then the um, spicy batter. But for me, if I were to take one, it's zinger all day and every day and twice on Sunday. <laughs> I think it needs lettuce, tomato, and some onions. We can, make a, B we can make a BLT out of it. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay, so stay tuned for that modified video, I feel, while the double down is still available here in the Philippines. Um, and the cool thing, of course, is they come with fries. So back in the States, it's it's potato wedges. These are more like steak cut fries. How did you feel about the fries anyway? They're actually pretty good. Mm. The fries are pretty good. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good enough for me. And then that's the, the low down on the double down. We did the quadruple double down on the original and the zinger. And we said zinger wins every, all day, every day, and twice on Sunday and all that and warren take us home okay um guys if you like this video better let uh if you like this video give me a thumbs up and better rate subscribe that was so good kfc mm, he really liked it everybody warren on his keto diet he found like a perfect soulmate as it comes yeah. to food that's what he, that's for him all right everybody until next video keep cool but care remember empire never ended